Hey everyone, Houston Math Prep here. We wanted to just give you a single go-to resource for recursive formulas if you're dealing with arithmetic and geometric sequences in particular. Uh, when you're writing a recursive formula for something, remember you need to sort of tell where you're starting and then you need to give some sort of a pattern based on previous terms was the idea for a recursive formula. Uh, so if we're writing a recursive formula for an arithmetic sequence, and that's one where we have a common difference where we add the same thing repeatedly. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll state that starting value and then we'll just simply convert our statement about a common difference, our arithmetic statement, into a recursive statement the recursive step of the formula. So if we look at our first example here, we have 3, 8, 13, 18, 23. You can see we're starting at 3 and we're going up by 5. The way I want to say that is it starts at 3, and if I think arithmetically in terms of addition, um, each term is 5 more than the term before. And so if I convert those statements into my two statements for a recursive formula, if I start at 3, that means a sub 1 or a1 equals 3. Each term is 5 more than the term before. So each term is going to be my a sub n. And that will be 5 more than the term before it, which is the term before plus 5, as I've written it here in the equation. And we'll go ahead and make that statement that that will be for any term after the first term, because the first term is 3. So use this formula for any term after that. In other words, starting at term number 2. Let's take a look at another example here. I have 15, 9, 3, negative 3, negative 9. So I'm starting at 15. You might be able to tell I'm subtracting 6 each time I go to the next term. So I start at 15. Each term is going to be 6 less than the term before. So this starts at 15 just tells me a1 is going to be 15. The second statement, each term, we want to read that as a sub n. So a sub n is, which would be equals. So a sub n equals 6 less than the term before. Remember the term before we'll call a sub n minus 1. So we'll get a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 minus 6, 6 less than. And again, that will start at term number 2. For geometric sequences, it's the exact same thing. We state the starting value, and we have some sort of a common ratio that is repeatedly occurring, and we just simply convert a statement that sounds geometric into a formula for our recursive step. So if I look at this example, 1, 3, 9, 27, 81, you can see maybe that we are repeatedly multiplying by 3. We start at the number 1, and each term is 3 times the term before. Okay, so starts at 1 means that a1 is 1. Each term is, tells me a sub n equals 3 times the term before is going to be 3 times a sub n minus 1. So we'll get a sub n equals 3 times a sub n minus 1, and that will be for the second term and beyond. If we look at this one starting at 192, 48, 12, 3, 3 fourths, this is geometric. Each term, if you divide it by the term before it, you will get 1 fourth. So we are repeatedly multiplying by 1 fourth, or saying that we're 1 fourth times as much as the term before. So we'll say we start at 192. Each term is 1 fourth times the term before it. So this first statement says that a1 is 192. The second statement says each term is 1 fourth times the term before. Each term is 1 fourth times the term before, and that will start after the first term, so that will start at term number 2. Okay, hopefully this gives you an idea of how to write some recursive formulas for arithmetic and geometric sequences in particular. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next one.